Stephanie Sheldon from avnewscast.com, and I'm here with one of the representatives from Blue Star Mom. And your name is? I'm Kim Eliopoulos. Hi, Kim. Hi. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the Blue Star Moms and what the organization is all about and what they represent? Sure. Blue Star Moms was a an organization organization that started about six weeks after Pearl Harbor was bombed. It was started by a captain who saw a need for moms to have something to do while they were waiting for news on their children and their husbands. And uh, out of that um, has spawned this amazing organization um, that's involved in uh, the support of each other, first and foremost, and then uh, support for the troops and the veterans and their families. That's really great. Now, is it just Blue Star moms, or is it Blue Star families, or... Is it everybody gets involved? or Everybody gets involved. My daughter's an associate member. My husband's an associate member. There is um, associate membership for everybody in the family. But it is Blue Star Mothers, so the moms are the, the number one members. Yeah. They're pretty much the ones who drive the organization. Definitely. Now, the Blue Star, what does that represent? Okay, the Blue Star um, was adopted by Congress as a ways, uh, uh, means by which families could show that they had uh, somebody in the military. And it was really meant, um, it, was, it was done well before Blue Star Mothers came around. It was really meant so that uh, neighbors would know that family members, the men family members were away from home and to help that family out, maybe mow their lawn or go and help take out the trash. A way, it was a way to identify who had their children or their husbands away and um, to go help those people out, to support those families. That's great. That's great. That's really would bring the community together, you would think. So you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys are out at the Antelope Valley Fair we 2009. Are. You guys are always here. I always see you in the same spot. Definitely. What's What's going on in your booth? Well, um, we are selling T-shirts, and our T-shirt sales and the other items, the magnets, the pins, it, the donations, um, all of those things, uh, the, pro- the proceeds from that go to pay the postage for our, our November 14th packaging to the troops, which we'll be getting to them just in time for Christmas. And we have um, over here where you can sign a Christmas card, and we will be putting those Christmas cards inside the boxes. And then we also are um, pushing uh, buying of raffle tickets for our um, October 10th poker run. <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything yeah. for the poker run. And all the proceeds from that as well will be going towards uh, the cost of postage to get these packages over to the troops. That's great. That's great. Do you guys take um, donations as in, not just money, I know the money helps, but donations as in books or movies or you know things that you send in those packages? Definitely. And for a full list of what we're looking for, what the troops really need, you can go to uh, www.a bluestarmothers.com you can also find other locations that you can donate at Various, um, there's about 15 16 uh, businesses throughout the valley that accept donations on our behalf and you can go and visit one of them great, great, well thanks Kim thanks for joining us and this is Cindy Sheldon at the Antelope Valley Fair 2009 bringing you what's going on